All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I ain't got to make any sense tonight because it is 100 days till Christmas and 69 days until Thanksgiving. Man, the new Furry Road poster looks cool. There have been a lot of pictures on the internet today and they're of an interesting looking Red Sun. Man. Nan Madul. Looks crazy. Uh, it looks like that one deadly blowfish that Homer Simpson tried to eat. Is sushi? Question mark. Asterisk. Jeff Masters hitting a hole in one with this graphic of Nan Madul, which is a super typhoon headed in this area. Holy wow. Oh my god, living in the modern age, in the post-industrial, atomic, digital, divide and conquer age is crazy every single day. The fact that we have avoided World War III and American Civil War II is pretty spectacular. It's been crazy since 2015, 2014, 2012, or maybe the Y2K bug, who can say? Anyway, what I'm trying to uh, express to you is that Russian President Putin told Indian Prime Minister Modi during a meeting on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit that he wanted to end the conflict in Ukraine as soon as possible. A-S-A-P-A-F-R-N. That's what Putin said to Modi. He definitely looks serious right there. Absolutely, without a doubt. So yeah, pray for peace. And hope for Christmas miracles ahead of time. Summer ain't over yet. Oh, that one was weak. Forgive me. Summer ain't over yet. All right, yeah, they're going to duke it out, man. Fight, like, boom. The cooler temperatures with the, like, oh, my gosh, it's still kind of summery heat. They're going to be duking it out along coasts where you may live. Uh, this is an Alaska cane that is hitting Alaska. It's like a hurricane, but it's cooler. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it's a major storm hitting Alaska right now. And every time I get a tsunami not expected, it's always a weird vibe. Like, hey, just heads up, there is not a tsunami expected. Like, good to know. But this was for Homer, Alaska. We got to. So, theme had to, in this one, I'm not talking well, and I get to blame it on Mercury retrograde. Although, you don't have to believe it. Nobody likes or wants excuses, even if they're hilarious. And I'm not saying that was. I was talking about, oh, yeah. So, there was a 4.0 earthquake in Alaska as Alaska's getting hit by this thing. It's all connected inside, outside, above, below, around, deep. Man. We've never gotten, as far as we know, we've never gotten in a super cool submarine and traveled to the bottom of the ocean. Because we'd pop like a grape. But who knows? Maybe they did it. Whoa, if you watch over here, it looks weird. Can I talk about alien technology from outer space? Now I'm just throwing words out there. But when I did that earlier this year, I got suspended on YouTube for a week. So you got to be careful which words you string together. Especially the weirder sciencey ones. All right. Oh, yeah, and we're tracking Fiona. But for now, I'm pointing out that you're getting like uh, 12 inches of rain-ish in Florida. You got it in the past five days. Talking to you by Port St. John. Wow. You can be a port and a saint at the same time. All right. Hey, this place is called Weewahote. Weewahati. Weewahati. And this one's called Titusville. Okay. Just point things out. Coco, Coca Beach. 
Words are fun to say. So don't you know, this is Fiona. Yeah, so now they're like, oh, it can totally going to occur out to sea. Maybe. And so that's where we're at. But if you're in Puerto Rico, you definitely need to bat down the hatches, buckle up, put on your best Lieutenant Dan outfit, and get ready for rain. And definitely prayer and singing probably helps. Now, I know you get, you're getting tired of me saying it's almost my 10-year anniversary on November 23rd. Yeah, I've been doing this for like 10 years regularly. And this definitely qualifies as an atmospheric dragon. A sky creature definitely seems mythical and mystical in its proportions and its movements. And its plasma liquids. The atmospheres are fluid, they say. But some people say don't ever trust what they say. Uh, words are complicated. Even the shorter ones. When did sheep get such a bad rap? Jesus used to hang out with sheep, man. Thank God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit for any miracles to come my way. That's what I'm doing. And I'm grateful for you, Asteroid Fight Club. And here, we're looking at someone that got a miracle as a moisture-packed thunderstorm. As opposed to those dry thunderstorms. They happen, but I've heard dry lightning. Led to flooding across the drought-stricken southwest this past week. Resulting in multiple dramatic water rescues that were caught on camera. Shout out to all the first responders, good guys and good gals out there. Helping everybody keep it together. And being a miracle when someone needs it. Lance is like, hey y'all. We got a heat wave coming. It could be as bad as like the middle of June. That shit was crazy. Um, but it'll still be like, damn, this is too hot for late September for a few days. And most of y'all will survive, I imagine. Man, it was like boom. Neptune opposed the sun, and then boom, it was a Virgo season. I like that Beyonce song. You won't break my soul. Maybe some good rain for North California. Ramada, combining with AI6, your to show this storm that is coming into Cali could definitely bring some rain. And anything that looks like dragonish too. Wow, that's cool looking. Let us watch this together, you and I. Look at it's pretty cool. Oh, you can see faces. Yeah, I would watch this one. I'd watch all the things. You know, this is definitely. Super crazy, weird energy, in my opinion. Yeah, atmospheric defense team. Pair of warriors. Asteroid Fight Club, super kicking ass. Look at this, Fiona. But we'll continue to watch. Good job. Great job. A plus. Asteroids. Happy birthday, Nick. Hey, did I mention if I'm super lucky, I'm going to get to go to see the Strokes and the Red Hot Chili Peppers this Sunday? Here in Arlington, Texas. I'm very excited about that. Anyway, here's one of those red sun pictures I was telling you about. Definitely a thousand years or two two thousand years ago, people would have looked up and been like, oh, this shit is a sign. Definitely, absolutely, without a doubt. Yo, that Alaska storm north of Adak reported waves at or above 35 feet for 12 hours straight, peaking at over 50 feet. Winds gusted to at least 60 knots for 11 straight hours, peaking at 65 knots. So it was definitely wave after wave after wavy up by Alaska. Oh, man, Philip Pappin is always yapping about cool weather stuff and then making graphics with explainers on there. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? I, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope everyone is wonderful. I hope you stay cool. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And I hope your Halloween costume is cool, if you're into that. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. This is, this is problematic. Seems like these days, almost everything is kind of problematic in the world. So hang on, dude. Retrograde City will go to like October 3rd. So the energy's probably mildly intense till then. 
And then you got an election. Everybody loves elections. <laughs> All right. Here's Alyssa Milano, who's the boss? At least 10 dead, four missing after tsunami-like flash floods in Italy. It was chaos. I remember Pakistan had like the worst flooding in the modern age, where like 33% of the whole country was underwater. And so we have definitely seen a lot of thousand year floods in the last few weeks at crazy levels, but people argue about dumb political shit all the time. So we get no, nowhere on any, make any major natural disaster response and preparedness and warning me words just fumble up up. Damn you, Mercury retrograde. Matt, I hope the strokes play the song Hawaii. I really hope they play that. But yeah, there's a flooding advisory going on in Hawaii right now. Uh, yeah, but super duper bad, deadly rains. Like I said, it was Pakistan two or three weeks ago, and now Italy got hit really hard. So smoke them in if you got them. Deborah Marotelli is talking about Secuncia de Radar in Guadalupe. See, I found thanks to. Mario Brothers, that if you try ever try to do an accent in Italian, people never get offended. So it's always safe for me to try to do a comedic Italian accent. How'd I do? Guadalupe. Anywho, so right now this is Fiona, so Fiona doesn't seem too monsterish, although I would definitely be watching out for floods if you were ahead of this thing, because any one of these rain bands might be able to drop serious amounts of rain, and there are definitely parts of Puerto Rico. I would guess we'll get over a foot of rain from this thing. And Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Then it's supposed to cover out to see. Hispaniola. Best looking storm of 2022. Nan Mad All. It is, it is a good looking storm or a bad looking storm. Or it looks like trouble. Definitely looks like a sea creature. Okay, great. Here's another one of those red sun pictures I was talking about. The pe people are like, hey, look, the sky, the sun is super fucking red. I tried not to cuss, but I didn't make it. Because, yeah, it's just super red sky. Um, what did what the old things, parables say if red sky at night? Um, Putin and Modi talking about, all right, all right, all right. Maybe peace before Mercury go, or Mars goes retrograde on the 30th of Halloween. World peace. Wonderful. That would be a great idea. And Biden met with the South African president at the White House a few hours ago. And it's cool that we live in a semi-cultured society to where like leaders of other countries can just hop over to other countries and be like, hey, let's sit down and talk about stuff and how we can all live in the world beneficially together. Man. Um, I just, okay. All right. Sandhya Patel. Here showing us the rain that's coming in California. There's a lot going on. And there were two M-class solar flares that popped out of the sun today when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, people act weird. I kind of lose my mind and act like a super nerd. Dr. Erica Paul Mario, double punch M class flares, M7.9, M6.2 from AR13098, currently at the northwest limb of the east facing disc. They both appeared to be confined flares, not associated with a coronal mass ejection, and no significant energetic particle increases have been detected by the Earth, by the GOES, or nor the Soho. So, yeah, a lot going on. Stay cool. And God bless everyone. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.